This market is uh, trying to suck you in, I think, uh, and it may well get me. Because Almeria, a plus 3.75. Atletico Madrid, a minus 135. Atletico Madrid hardly laid a glove on uh, Inter midweek. Hardly had a shot on goal. Uh, maybe picked up a few knocks as well, so make sure you check the uh, the starting lineup. The draw is at plus 300. The under or over is set at 2.75, with the under being favourite at minus 115. Atletico, again, minus 133 to score twice. So if they're going to score twice, I fancy they win the game. But maybe taking the minus 135 means you bring in the 1-0 as well. Uh, Oaks, you can go first on this one, please. Sure. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. Atleti had absolutely no intentions of pushing forward and trying to score um, at Inter Milan. They'd sat back. They absorbed pressure. When they did go forward, it was on a counterattack. Um, one of the few bets, or not the few bets, but one of the bets I hit uh, – there was like Lino to hit a shot on target because a lot of their shots were coming from um, guys in the midfield and on the back line, which I kind of assumed was going to happen. Atleti had no interest in trying to score. They wanted out of the San Siro with a 0-0 draw or just being down a goal, which they are, which is fine because they are much stronger in their own building. Um, and, and that's a good strategy because Inter is tough. Um, uh in the San Siro. Anyway, um, Atleti just absolutely pound Almeria here. Don't overcomplicate it. This line is a gift. Uh, even laying the juice, not going to over overcomplicate it by adding the over one and a half here. Just I'm laying the minus 135. Very comfortable laying that kind of price. Uh, I'm checking my notes here. Uh, Almeria still has zero wins on the season, right? In La Liga. And this is Atletico Madrid. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to lay the minus 135. Yeah, tiredness for the visitors is the only uh, the only problem you really have. Morata, we know, is not 100%. He played Lorente. Does he play Griezmann? Does he save Griezmann? But again, there, there's a gulf between these two. The other thing with Almeria, though, even in defeat, and Klaus has said this, a bit of like Getafe, they do find a way to score. Yeah, they do find a way to score. And not only that, but listen, it's a team that has room at life. Constantly. <laughs> listen, when, when on the bright side. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very honest. I mean, listen, against Batiz, we all thought Batiz was gonna take some points from there. No, they didn't. They drew. Against Real Sociedad, the same story. Against Girona, the same story. Listen, I'm not gonna come here come here and say oh, Maria's gonna win because I don't think they're gonna win, but they're gonna find the back of the net and they're gonna make it very, very complicated for Atletico Madrid. This is not gonna be a walk in the park. It's not like you're gonna take your dog to, to poop and pee real quick. It's not gonna be that easy. They're gonna make it hard. It's a team that they know they're done. So what what do you do when you know you're done? And this happens a lot in Argentina too, which is one of the leagues I cover. Those players that you see playing in Almeria, they're going to try to potentially highlight themselves against clubs like Atletico Madrid. So potentially someone that is staying in the first division would probably buy him or acquire him or get him on a loan or something like that. So those are the type of games you want to show out to because you know you have nothing left in the year other than playing against Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, and Barcelona. That's it. That's your only highlight for the rest of the year because you suck and you're going to get relegated. You haven't won a game so far. So listen, they're going to make it hard for them. I'm not going to say Atletico Madrid is not going to win, but I do expect both teams to score here and hopefully Atletico Madrid to take the three points. I thought yeah, after I'll go Almeria. last week we'd start hearing you put Bilbao on that list. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> listen, they're doing great. But Almeria, are like the, 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 basically they're basically they've been in a fight. They've knocked out. They're on the floor, but they'll still bite your ankles. That's the problem. And that's what I wrote. I wrote Almeria will bite the ankles, but they will not. That doesn't mean they're going to do permanent damage. Um, so yeah, you go with. Uh, the visitors at minus 135 because there's just a golfing class. Um, I, uh, I thought that last week versus what I consider a much better side in Las Palmas than Almeria in uh, mm. Atleti hung five on them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I think they do uh, could do the same again. But as long as it's 5-1, everyone will be happy. Let's have a little look at the official yeah. picks. Uh, Atletico and both teams score plus 240. I'm going to write that there. Plus 240 like that. because that seems like a nice, uh, nice winner. Um, and also Atletico minus 135 is the don't complicate it situation.